Greetings and salutations. This is Read Aloud, a text-to-speech voice reader. A Firefox browser extension, 1.63.0. And this shall be a reading for the PlayStation 1 game LSD Dream Emulator. Welcome to the LSD Dream Emulator. LSD Dream Emulator, a Japanese PlayStation 1 game based on a dream journal kept for 10 years by author Hiroko Nishikawa, and adapted by Osamu Sato. The Dream Journal, also known by its actual name, Lovely Sweet Dream, is a vivid written and drawn representation of various nightmares and dreams which were used to partially inspire producer Osamu Sato to create LSD, Dream Emulator. These dreams and nightmares were encountered throughout the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s by a Japanese writer named Hiroko Nishikawa and became the material written into the journal. Some of these dreams and nightmares were implemented into the game in their whole written forms as text dreams. The nature of these nightmares and dreams are extremely odd, and some are possibly even related to past traumatic events, containing blatant sexual or violent references and themes. The journal itself was never released outside of Japan. Osamu Sato, JP, Sato Satoru, is a multimedia artist and the founder of OSD, Outside Directors Company, which collaborated with Asmacase Entertainment to create LSD, Dream Emulator. Sato is most well known for his work on LSD, but also headed a number of games including Eastern Mind, The Lost Souls of Tongno and Chu Teng. Over the past few years his work has amassed a small cult following amongst Western Internet users. In recent years Sato has resumed work as a composer and graphic artist slash photographer. Work on LSD. He composed and created the patterns and soundtracks for the game, some of his drawings appear as textures and so does his face in the floor of the Bright Moon Cottage. Hiroko Nishikawa was a game designer at Asmacase Entertainment at the time of LSD, Dream Emulator's development. She is the author of the Dream Journal, which contains entries from a dream diary that she kept for over a decade. The detailed, vivid descriptions of her dreams served as inspiration for Osamu Sato for LSD, Dream Emulator. LSD, Dream Emulator is a game that was released exclusively in Japan for the Sony PlayStation and PlayStation Classic, designed by Osamu Sato and published by Asmacase Entertainment. It is one of a series of three products based on Lovely Sweet Dream, a dream journal kept and updated over the course of 10 years by Hiroko Nishikawa, a staff member at Asmacase Entertainment. The theme song of LSD, Dream Emulator is Come On and by Osamu Sato. Release LSD, Dream Emulator was originally released on the Sony PlayStation on October 22nd of 1998. The game was added to the Japanese PlayStation Store under the PS1 Classics section on August 11, 2010 for 617 yen. Rating The game received a D rating from Ciro, Computer Entertainment Rating Organization, the Japanese content rating company, equivalent to the ESRB or PEGI, which is roughly equal to being rated M, for its disturbing imagery, themes, and general nature. Reception Due to its unusual content and its lack of availability, LSD, Dream Emulator suffered inattention from players shortly after release. However, in the following later years, the game has received a dedicated cult following. Its Western success may be largely attributed to Let's Players and YouTubers, the likes of which having used the eccentric nature of the game to shock and surprise viewers for content. Though the initial reception by players was unfavorable, critics such as Kill Screen and Hardcore Gaming 101 praised the game for its uniqueness and unpredictability, with the latter remarking that there has never been another video game that so effectively conferred the feeling of an actual dream. Media LSD, Dream Emulator 1 The Dream Journal 2 Lucy in the Sky with Dynamites 3 LSD and Remixes 4 Instruction Booklet 5 TV Spots 6 LSD Demo Movie 1997 7 Unused Content Lucy in the Sky with Dynamites Lucy in the Sky with Dynamites is a one-hour session music CD that comes with the limited edition of LSD, Dream Emulator. It consists of many volunteer-slash-amateur Japanese musicians, with Osamu as the lead composer. The CD is incredibly rare, but a high-quality rip exists on the Osamu Sato archive. LSD and Remixes LSD and Remixes is one of three LSD-related products that were originally released. The original mixes were produced by Osamu Sato. Cut versions of its songs appear in the game's cutscenes and intro sequences, and there are several instances of melodies from it appearing during gameplay. Track Listing Disc 1, Original Mixes, 
all here from album, Linen Sampler. 1 Funky Solution. 2 Long Tall Eyelash. 3 TV River. 4 Professional Problem. 5 Oriental Grill. 6 Come On End. 7 Fax Factory. 8 Fried Banana. 9 Say Cheese. Disc 2, Remixes. 1 Long Tall Eyelash, Ken Ishii Mix. 2 Funky Solution, Jimmy Tenor Mix. 3 Long Tall Eyelash, Zyg. 4 TV River, Morgan Geist Mix. 5 Professional Problem, Pantun Music Mix. 6 Oriental Grill, M.P.O Mix. 7 Come On, Out Ass Mao Mix. Trivia. 1 A melody from Come On and can be heard in the Pit and Temple's music pattern D. It's distinguishable in the Ethnova and Electro instrument sets. 2 A melody from Fax Factory can be heard in the Pit and Temple's music pattern A. It's distinguishable in the Ethnova instrument set. 3 A melody from Long Tall Eyelash can be heard in Natural World's music pattern A. It's distinguishable in the Ambient and Electro instrument set. 4 Looking at the cover of LSD and remixes, from a different side, may produce, what is called an optical illusion. Speculations 1. There are other musicians who had participated in the second CD of this album, besides Osamu Sato himself, his pseudonym appears to be out as Dot. These include other respected musicians, such as Ken Ishii, Jimmy Tenor, Zyke, Morgan Geist, and MPO. Instruction Booklet The instruction booklet is a special instruction manual that may provide help with LSD, Dream Emulator. The booklet is entirely in Japanese. It comes with a copy of the either limited or normal version of LSD, Dream Emulator. TV Spots TV Spots, not to be confused with television, are specific videos about LSD, Dream Emulator, used to promote it. LSD, Dream Emulator had a small number of Japan-only TV spots to advertise its release in 1998. The catchphrase of the TV spot number one is Is this legal, and is said by a man with glasses, unknown as to rather what kind, and a mustache. This man does not appear in LSD, Dream Emulator, besides this video. LSD Demo Movie 1997 LSD, Dream Emulator 1997 Demo Movie, is a first showcase video of the upcoming game. It consists of different pre-rendered CGI animations and shows the early concepts for the future locations. Importantly, everything shown in the video, isn't even a playable game. It is just a compilation of different pre-rendered animated videos. This is the only maintained demo video to exist. It was uploaded to the YouTube, and commented in a description, which is located below. Original Description LSD Dream Emulator Demo Video Looks to be pre-rendered CGI, in-game beta testing and all sorts of oodles. This video was uploaded to the company's website as a preview of the game. Shows some areas which didn't make the final game, a beta gray man, and maybe what looks like the player you play as. Differences from the final release 1. There are doors you can open in the bright moon cottage some unused wooden doors are seen. 2. The scene of the television is on the room of the dying woman, makes sense since the kanji says murder. 3. The giant baby does not headbutt you like in the final. Instead, it eats you. 4. Pit and temple seen here, are much different, and pit is almost not seen at all. Unused alternative variant of pit and temple location with trees is seen. 5. The sumo location is different unknown location with an object floating on the top it seems the hole on the center had a purpose. 6. In Kyoto the Buddha head statue and the hand were much bigger many pagodas were there, and the location seemed much larger. 7. There was a location with plants and flowers and a brick path crossing green hills with a castle at the end this location is currently dubbed as, unknown place, and bears similarities to the happy town. A possible beta gray man with a blue cap and sunglasses. Much more similar to the murderer and the ropes of the victim of the gunman he appears to have a shirt with a blood stain appears in happy town like the gray man and also in the bright moon cottage, there's no gray man possible in there in the final game, he runs instead of floating dotted link the player with the violence district maybe at some point the idea split into two separated ideas, the murderer and gray man. One the violence district seems darker, the sky is red and the only thing visible being the circle of light from the lamp posts there is a running man that disappeared when you reach the place you saw him. 2. The violence district layout is really different from the final game. Warehouses and the graffiti on the walls were replaced in the release. 3. There seemed to have once been a secret lift in the violence district, and the player is seen activating it and ascending right before the cut. 
4. The train in Happy Town resembles the character Thomas the Tank Engine. 5. The giant baby's head looks more chunkier and wider than the final. 6. There are objects that never made it in the final, such as realistic Japanese square chandeliers, curtains, a dining table with chairs, Japanese toilet, pterodactyl on top of what appears to be a fireplace and what your player would have looked like from the front however, some of the objects got included into different locations, soda cans were moved to the violence district, and a square chandelier may be seen in the end of the long hallway. 7. Pterodactyl is seen curled up behind his wings, as the viewer of LSD checks him, as if he is sleeping. 8. Rather than the trumpeters, like in the final version, the soldiers were supposed to march near the entrance of the castle furthermore, it wasn't supposed to be an entrance to the castle at all, it was supposed to be another railroad track road for the train to cross. In the final release, rails were removed from there. Nine soldiers looked much different from the final, and seemed to have clothing, rather than the odd psychedelic texturing they do in the final. Unused content. Unused textures. Door. A door from Bright Moon Cottage it's the WC door without letters this texture is copied over to Long Hallway, where it actually is used. Other door. Bright Moon Cottage is second type of door, which is probably meant to be inside of the WC room. Bathtub slash toilet. Speculated to be for the room behind the WC door another speculation is that it could have been the Japanese toilet slash bathtub seen in the LSD demo movie 1997. Curtains. Curtains can be seen in LSD demo movie 1997 hanging on windows. Were removed for some reason. Buddha statues. In pit and temple, there are statues that use generic stone textures with no unique details there are unused textures of a statue in the texture sheets of pit and temple judging by the proportions of the kanji in the kanji textures, there may have been additional statues smaller than the ones in the final game in the 1997 demo movie, pit and temple had more objects in it, so it's plausible that that these smaller statues were fully modeled at one point. Asmacase Entertainment Logo Japanese variation of Asmacase's logo the text says Asmac. Unused objects. Door. A model for a 3D door can be found in Bright Moon Cottage. This door may be a leftover from the 1997 build of LSD, Dream Emulator, where players could press circle to open 3D doors. Dog. Named Sim Dog Mom the Gray Man is named SYMSPY Mom, so this dog might be related it has two animations, one is for walking forward, while the other seems to be an unfinished animation for turning. Unused areas. Bathroom. Bright Moon Cottage has a small room behind the WC door this is likely where the unused bathtub textures would have been used you can see it on the demo movie this is the room that most likely cut, due to limitations or any unknown reasons. Overview. Protagonist. Protagonist of LSD, Dream Emulator is absolutely unknown, since he never appears in outside of first person view the only one who may have been the protagonist however, is the writer herself, Hiroko Nishikawa also, the text dreams feature stories, which are otherwise not even featured in the dream journal at all or may have only been slightly based off of them. There's a possibility that there was the first dream journal, even before the new version of it, from which the writer was taking these stories as a result, some stories just didn't make it into the final cut. Protagonist's Perspective Protagonist will usually only see the world from their own eyes there is never a point in LSD, dream emulator, in which there would be a showcase of how they actually looks like the protagonist can only walk and run, look at things and occasionally, can use something, as if using something or if by magic, out of complete thin air, presumably like a hand gesture of pointing, or somewhere similar. Examples of these are, killing the wolf and the gunman by pressing the O button. There are also triggers, in which O button would be used to trigger an event, as well, like the train, for example. Linen. Linen is the most commonly accepted name for the character which appears on the cover, menus, and surrounding media of and for LSD, Dream Emulator. Osamu Sato himself has never talked about or explained its meaning. Linen is not an entity present within in LSD, Dream Emulator, it only appears in videos or textures in the game. Linen is used as the apparent mascot for LSD, Dream Emulator, as every product derived from LSD, Dream emulators such as music albums, music clips, and official dream diaries feature linen on them. Appearance Linen is a bright yellow creature with upward curving yellow horns, eyes. Containing a hypnotic alternating pattern of red and blue and a circular red nose. In LSD, Dream Emulator. It is seen assuming different geometrical forms, 
such as a blocky or more triangular look, as are pictured below. Occasionally, linen can be seen on different surfaces, such as the train's face in the downer textures of Happy Town, as well as on hanging cubes also seen in Happy Town. Although linen is used as a mascot for a variety of LSD, dream emulator content, its true meaning still remains unsolved. Gameplay Elements LSD is an open-world exploration game based on the dream journal of Hiroko Nishikawa This game is filled with complicated mechanics and gameplay elements, which are still being researched. With no plot or objective to the game, you simply play and explore the dreams the way you want to touching objects and the world will link you to different areas or trigger specific clips This process is called linking. After the dream ends, it is rated depending on what you did more information can be found on the dream chart page. When progressing through the dreams, the way you choose to explore will determine how the world changes. Controls You can explore the dreamscape by using the PSX directional buttons. The X button is for running, R1 and L1 are for looking behind you, R2. And L2 are for strafing, is for looking up, white medium square is for looking down. There is also a pause button and buttons for quickly looking behind you, from the left or right respectively is stated to have no purpose on the instruction booklet of the game represented by a blank description dash dash dash, but some players found it works on some interactions with objects or characters. Explorable Dreams The explorable game session in LSD, Dream Emulator is being called as a dream explorable dreams are available to enter almost every day with a small exception for unplayable ones each dream has different time for exploration, it depends on what player has seen before dream is considered to be long, if it lasts more than 10 minutes in the dreams, the player can explore the dreamscape and discover new things. There are 14 different areas that the player can explore, some of them can only be accessed through linking with certain objects. Video Dreams Some dreams may consist only of strange videos, such as a child eating or pigeons flying in slow motion. It's not possible to skip them, and they usually last about a minute. Video dreams can be seen only on unplayable days, or during the video reel. Day Type LSD, Dream Emulator has six different types of playable days, A1, B1, A2, B2, A3 and B3. Every day, its type is being changed to the next one, and this process is looped for the whole walkthrough day types control the amount slash position of different objects, sometimes it influence the rareness of the objects some days are unplayable, and used to show either text or video dream. The chart, or graph internally, is a 19x19 grid displayed at the end of every day in LSD, Dream Emulator. It can also be accessed from the main menu of the game. Appearance The chart appears as a square with the pixelated corners taken out, colored in various shades of yellow and red in the center of the graph is linen, assuming its square-like form there are four marked sides, static, dynamic, upper, and downer small circles containing linen in rhombus form are nestled in the corners. After a dream comes to an end, the chart slowly fades in, and a rapidly flashing red square denotes the rating of said dream, the main character's mood. At the same time, it indicates the spawn location for the following dream, see complete map in gallery below. As the player continues to complete more and more dreams, cells that have been rated remain as filled white cells, which get slowly darker as the days go on the brightness of each filled cell indicates how well the main character remembers their corresponding dream, which also affects the order of dreams in the flashback option. After each dream the chart indicates dreams influence on the main character's mood making your dream cheerful by spending time in happy town and observing harmless slash friendly objects makes the chart's marker go up and rises the chance to begin the next dream in a happy town again. When doing same actions in the violence district or other disturbing places, the marker is then more likely to fall to the bottom of the chart, rising the chance to begin following dream in the violence district. The true nature of dynamic and static ratings is still needs to be understood though it is unclear what game considers to be a static or dynamic dream. Basic Mechanics The chart itself has an X and Y coordinate mechanic, where Linen's nose is considered to be cell, 0, 0, a cell 3 steps to left and 2 steps up from Linen's nose, for example then, is, dash 3, 2. The instruction booklet for the game states that the places you have visited and the things you saw determine the point on the graph. Looking at things and objects causes events which individually shift the chart's marker as the player visits locations and interacts with objects, events stack over each other, shifting the ending coordinates around and giving the chart its seemingly unpredictable nature. Hacking Speculations 
it is still not entirely known how the game actually calculates the final position for the chart. Hacking tools have been used to observe the order of things that the game uses to calculate the final position of the marker, which has proved the instruction booklet's statement about the chart's basic mechanic correct, it seems that each object spawn slash animation trigger and map chunk load has its own pre-programmed value, deciding the way the marker moves on the graph. Past that, the calculations remain a mystery. The more events the player observes during the dream, the more values add up to already stored value from all of the previous dreams the result of the events mix form your current dream, this mechanic is also known as current dream generation it is obvious, that dynamic link logic, the mechanic of the rare events happening, and also the chart is controlled by the procedural generation engine. It means, that every dream is not a randomly generated scene, but a repeatable unique session, which has its own seed, a line of special numbers, determining everything the player sees in-game. Unfortunately, it is all we currently know. With this mechanic being fully understood, the player will be able to get any wanted dream anytime. Trivia 1. If the eyes, nose, and the cell 3 beneath the nose are covered, all four cells will flash green and the game will proceed to show a long playlist of video dreams. 2. The image file that contains the graph is called graph.tim, under the etc. file directory. 3. There is a rare chance that a previous slash next dream will be recorded outside the chart's boundaries. This is more likely to happen if the player falls very often. LSD meaning. Various phrases are attributed to the acronym LSD. These phrases are. One link speed dream, official meaning from the now defunct website. Two lovely sweet dream, dream journal. Three Lucy in the sky with dynamites, non-stop mix CD. Four in limbo, the silent dream. Opening A. Five in life, the sensuous dream. Opening B. 6 in logic, the symbolic dream. Opening C. 7 in leisure, the sonorous dream. Opening D. 8 in laughter, the spiritual dream. Opening E. 9 in lunacy, the savage dream. Opening F. 10 in linking, the sapient dream. Opening G. Clips. A clip, not to be confused with video dream, is a short video that can be triggered by looking on significant objects, or just part of the video collection seen when the game starts up. When a certain set of spaces on the graph are filled, you have a dream that is a collection of most of the live action clips. Intro Clips Intro 1 will always start when you start LSD, Dream Emulator itself. However, after this, when you will be idling in the main menu, one of all of these will start automatically. Intro 1, Intro 2, Intro 3, Intro 4, Intro 5, Intro 6, Intro 7 Events These videos can be found by performing certain actions in-game, these video clips are 1 Ferris Wheel, a first-person view of the Ferris Wheel flying up into the night sky as Fried Banana by Osamu Sato plays alpha version of Happy Town's map is seen in the end of the video a sun with the face is seen, similar to ones found in sun faces he've encountered after touching the Ferris Wheel's carts in Happy Town 2 Airplane an airplane flying a slowed version of Come On and by Osamu Sato plays encountered randomly after approaching the ghost sailor, when the plane appears, and falls into the ocean. 3 City, flying over Violence District encountered randomly after linking with small ghosts in the Violence District or after a limb falls out of the dumpster. 4 Gears, gears and mechanisms working at different angles encountered after looking up at the planetary mechanical model. 5 Rose Petals, rose petals blowing past a black screen, while Long Tall Eyelash by Osamu Sato plays can be triggered randomly, by staying in front of the Shrine Bell of Kyoto till the dream's end. Other. One ending, plays at the end of day 365. Two video dreams, appears at unplayable days, instead of black screen with text, showing you random video. Dream. The Dream, is a completely unique and non-random explorable game session in LSD, Dream Emulator generally, each dream lasts from 1 minute to 10, however, in some occasions longer dreams are possible. During each dream, the player is able to explore the dream world of LSD, Dream Emulator. Each day has a unique setting for your dream, and it will be formed from all of your previous decisions. Each dream is generated by the game's algorithm which gives the player an opportunity to replicate any dream in other playthroughs as many times as wanted. Features of the dream On the very first day, your dream will start on the top floor of the Bright Moon Cottage. After the dream has started, 
you're able to explore the dreamscape the way you want the game will record all your actions to generate future dreams there are billions of possible dreams and combinations of actions and events in the game depending on all of your observations the rating at the end of the dream on the chart will determine where you'll spawn in the next dream the dreams will often vary in time depending on location as the instruction booklet explains that scary places will end the dream quicker than peaceful places there are also some unplayable days with no playable dreams instead it will be a clip or a text dream these days were pre-programmed the very first unplayable day is day 002 although the dream will end eventually because of timeout it's possible to end a dream early by dying some ways include falling getting mauled by lions dogs or being shot setting each day slash dream has a specific setting for every area the sky and fog are preset for each day for example on day one bright moon cottage will always have a bright white sky the placement and presence of objects is usually preset with day type mechanic but in rarer cases spawning will be dependent on players decisions change in dreams even though each day has settings preset for each dream many aspects of the game will change depending on what the player does the game takes note of how the player explores what's been linked with the time and a number of other factors the chart rating and linking process are the most notable examples of player driven change rare events such as astronaut landing in bright moon cottage are also happening because of every decision the player made generation lsd dream emulator is one of the first video games to use procedural generation to create a large amount of possible different playthroughs of the game this page is the result of a heavy research conducted using hacking tools materials from the data analysis page and experimentation with in-game behavior mechanics the generation is a fundamental mechanic of lsd dream emulator it is used to create the contents of dreams to randomize every possible playthrough and to prevent the player to see an exact same scene while exploring the game the dream generator is the main function of the lsd dream emulators procedural generation engine algorithm the whole game is based on the algorithm of dream generator and this topic is still under research each generation of a dream is a completely unique scene in the game which was achieved by a row of certain actions the player did in previous dreams it means that any dynamic link any object spawn or sudden event is completely repeatable and non-random as everything the player sees is based on the player's actions and decisions each generation is created using information from the player's previous actions how many map chunks were loaded which triggers have been activated how much time was spent in a location etc as well as other less prominent factors any dream in lsd dream emulator develops just like a chess game there are countless openings for day 001 and then there are billions of different actions and combinations of events possible and any dream that you're experiencing in this game is a part of a huge continuous chain of actions and events starting from day 001 and continuing even after the full game is completed supposedly any specific generation has its own associated number or seed within the game's code this seed decides a number of different important features the dream will have it builds a whole scene the player will experience and prepares all future possible playthroughs the player may get into it has been found that each dream can be achieved again through certain repeatable methods and any dream the player experiences can be replicated in other playthroughs started from a clear new game if all the actions were repeated perfectly there are millions of completely unique generations in the game and most of them have never been seen yet simply saying the game's generation uses the player's actions and its own procedural generation to determine anything from dynamic links and its color object spawning current position color and movement of stars clouds suns and moons in the sky the duration of the dream the music the textures the final graph result unplayable days contents every dynamic object behavior and even rare events such as the astronaut landing if the player repeats their actions correctly these can be replicated the same in other playthroughs different generations can be most easily distinguished by the music and positioning of the sky's contents which is also the simplest way to tell if a dreams generation has been correctly replicated but even after all the knowledge that is available to us at the current moment is still lacking much of very important information about the game's programming nature it is unknown how the generations are stored and actually developed and there's no side software created yet which is able to modify the seed of the dream dream seeds presence and modifiability in the game's code still remains unproven 
Further research is required. How the events work. The generation mechanic in LSD, Dream Emulator is known for controlling the outcome of numerous in-game events. Some examples are below. 1. The Violence District Skyscraper Spawn, on very rare occasions, the player gets an opportunity to appear on the most unique location of the Violence District. It happens rarely after the dynamic link or on a dreams. Start. The player will find himself on the top of a high building, with a certain chance to survive the fall, or die, which will result in a dream's end. This spawn is proven not to be a glitch, but a feature, in a form of a rare event, which outcome is being controlled by the generation mechanic, meaning that outcome of a fall is dependent on player's previous actions. Currently it is impossible to predict the result of the fall, except for cases, when the generation with certain outcome is already known to the player. P.S. When such event has generated with bad outcome, via hacking tools it is possible to replace yourself to the ground, avoid the falling event, and access to legally inaccessible, impossible, walkthroughs of LSD, Dream Emulator, which, for some reason, were still generated to work perfectly well. 2. The Sumo Wrestler Type A single sumo wrestler is known as an interactive NPC, which may suddenly start chasing the player through the flesh tunnels or start dodging the player's approaches. Here, the generation mechanic will decide, based on player's previous decisions, which type of sumo wrestler should generate. Some triggers will make the wrestler aggressive, while others will make him defending. The type of the sumo wrestler is also can't be predicted. 3. The bartender, on B1 type days, one of double faces can be found behind the bar counter of the bright moon cottage. Depending on your previous decisions, when approached, the double face may suddenly stretch upwards to a stick's form, or start dancing on a place. Both of these triggers will also change your dream's generation to another one. 4. Giant Geisha's Turning Decision On B-type days, a giant geisha can be found in Kyoto. Depending on your previous decisions, she will either turn left, and cross the river via bridge, or turn right and eventually enter old lady's house. 5. Flying Train Event On very rare occasions, a slow train of Happy Town may suddenly stop near the opera singer's column and then start flying up to the clouds. Usually, it just disappears before reaching the column. As well as previous events, this one is also controlled by the generation mechanic. 6. The Astronaut's Landing, the most unique and rare event in the game, which mechanic has finally been understood and put under the control. On B-type days, only one time per such dream, a floating astronaut may be seen flying away and towards the bright moon cottage. Its landing is closely related to a gray man's trigger. Gray man's trigger very usually causes the link to change its color to pink. Such link is very likely to indicate the possibility of a rare event. If the player manages to achieve the pink link in bright moon cottage on B-type days during the first visit to said location, the astronaut is very likely to land. This mechanic is heavily dependent on a generation's mechanics, as the gray man's spawn is also based on the player's actions and decisions in previous dreams. Effects LSD, Dream Emulator takes into account almost every action the player takes, down to the smallest step. Dreams will continue to change in almost unnoticeable ways throughout a playthrough, leading to dreams that appear the same yet are not. For example, the first and easiest way to change the game's generation is to watch the additional intro video in the main menu of the game. Typically, Day 001 will begin in the Bright Moon Cottage, in normal textures, playing the standard C track. The first dynamic link in the cottage will take the player to Kyoto, near the foot statue. However, if the intro was watched, the music will change to the human instrument set, and the first dynamic link will take the player to the violence district. Watching further intros will create even more unique generations of Day 001. The game uses its own timer which accounts for how long the player spends in any set location. In some dreams, the timer will affect the future dynamic links and possible events greatly, making these dreams nigh impossible to replicate. For example, in day 001, dynamic links in Bright Moon Cottage won't have any dependence on the timer, but will do so on subsequent days, further complicating future dreams. It is also notable that falling in a dream will always affect the timer, and may lead to an inability to replicate a desired ending and chart result for a dream, as nearly perfect timing is required to repeat the same playthrough when using a falling to end a dream. In other cases, the game's generation will change when the player triggers any object in the game. 
For example, in the typical generation on day 001, Bright Moon Cottage's first dynamic link will link the player to Kyoto. However, if the player observes the TV and then links with the wall, its dynamic link will be changed to the natural world. This is because of the TV's trigger influencing how the link behaves. Repeatedly viewing the TV will continue to change the link's generation. The game's generation can also change depending on the loading of map chunks. The game counts every chunk load, a process that can be seen via the use of hacking tools. Because of the imperfections within LSD, Dream Emulator's engine, an area's music may lag or glitch during a chunk load. This music lag is also a sign of generation change. For example, the standard e-music track in the violence district seems to lag exceptionally notably compared to other music tracks upon every chunk load. Manipulation As mentioned above, the frequency of events can be changed depending on the seed used for a generation. Thus, by replicating the sequence taken to achieve witness to a rare event, this rare event may be seen repeatedly. An example of a rare event that can be repeated in this way is the astronaut landing. However, repeating scenarios may prove difficult, as the in-game timer can also affect generation, requiring near-perfect timing to properly replicate a dream. Impossible Generations There are millions of impossible generations within the game's code which can be encountered only with hacking tools. This may be due to glitched spawn locations, leading to the player falling and ending the dream prior to any exploration. For example, an inaccessible spawn point in clockwork machines will lead the player fall out of the world. However, with the use of a replace position hack, a player can then safely move themselves to walkable area, then link with the wall. The game still able to generate content within the dream and remains completely playable. There are many of these possible scenarios, many of which have not been encountered, rendering the amount of impossible dreams unknown. Some generations are simply located out of playable days. LSD, Dream Emulator will always force an end to a playthrough on day 365, before cycling over and restarting on day 001. However, with the use of hacking tools again, it is possible to start impossible days unable to be played in a typical playthrough, such as day 366, day minus 999 or even day 000. Though glitches may be present, the game can still be played. Textures will often corrupt and the sky's contents will also generate incorrectly, though these changes are merely aesthetic and the game can still be played. Flashback Flashback, is a special game feature, which allows you to replay memorial moments from your previous game sessions. It runs as compilation of very short dreams with automatic trance to the next flashback. Compilation starts from the most memorable events and goes in descending order to the less memorable. At very first days of the game it will be locked and hidden from the player. The flashback option will appear after the player has been to various places, and seen enough events slash triggers that the game considers notable enough for the main character to remember it. There must be an invisible flashback gauge. When it fills fully with different events, the flashback option appears in the main menu. It usually appears after 20 to 30 days, but can sometimes appear earlier slash later depending on the style of your walkthrough, Speed running through the game will definitely make flashback option to appear much more later. Flashback option may be hard to unlock at first, because it appears after large amount of different interesting events was seen by the player. Running into the gray man will erase all your progress with events seen, so you'll need to get all of these events again. Instruction booklet describes this as main gray man's purpose. Avoiding the gray man. Gray man is a B-type only object, so it means that you need to be extra careful on even numbered days, 004, 006, 008 You shouldn't run slash use transition corridors between the violence district, Happy Town, or Kyoto, as the gray man may appear right inside and there you'll have no chance to avoid him. If player has already unlocked the flashback option, it is possible to keep it even after gray man encounter. To do this, you'll simply need to observe any creature or event, for example rickshaw minotaur slash trumpeters. The meaning. In the manual of the game, the function is described as follows. 1. This roughly translates to 1. If you select this option, notable scenes you remember up to this point will be replayed. Flashback mechanic. During the flashback sequence, player spawns at the place where notable event has been observed some time ago. The view will have a colored, semi-transparent overlay, similar to the flashes when a link happens. It seems that positive memories are colored in blue, while negative ones in red. After few seconds, 
player will be automatically transported to the next flashback scene. Sometimes, player will flashback the same moment again and again, for example, game considers each trumpeter's fanfare as a memorial event. Trivia and hacking information Via hacking tools, it is known, that game stores accurate main character's position, day number and generation, that was visited by the player. It means, that you'll definitely recognize the memorable trigger slash event. However, sometimes player isn't even able to notice the trigger of event, that game considers memorable, probably happens because you can trigger something, even if it is located behind a wall, so sometimes flashback may show you completely simple things such as walls, trees, etc. Game will also ignore real texture set slash music that was used at the moment of memorable event. That was probably made intentionally, to simulate the feeling of remembering your past dreams. Some completely similar events may create a long repetition of same flashbacks, because there's no special mechanic to prevent that. The greatest example is trumpeter's trigger, you may trigger up to six trumpeters, and game will save all of them into your flashback compilation. This imperfection can be abused to speedrun and flashback option appearance. Actually, flashback, is a completely normal dream with working procedural generation for dynamic link, and you can freely explore it, if you'll link fast and regularly between locations. Gray Man The Gray Man, known as SYMSPY.mom in the game's files, is an entity that unexpectedly appears right in front of the player on B-type days throughout certain locations in the dreamscape. Upon appearing, he slowly moves towards the player in a straight line. Upon getting too close to the player, a bright flash will occur and the gray man will disappear. He may appear more than once in an area consecutively, and may even teleport around rapidly. He is sometimes viewed as the main antagonist of the game due to his hindering nature. He seems to appear most often in Happy Town. Appearance The gray man wears a dark gray trench coat. He also wears a hat of the same color that appears to be either a bucket hat, a fedora, or an Asian conical hat. His hands appear to be inside his pockets and his face has no detail, as his model is colored flatly instead of textured. He appears to be gliding instead of walking, as his feet never move and he has no animation. Effects and Purpose The gray man's main purpose appears to be to startle the player and possibly to force them to explore the dream world carefully. His most prominent ability consists of erasing the saved flashback data upon interacting with the player. If all flashback data is erased, the option disappears from the menu. If encountered during the flashback session, the remaining compilation of dreams will be erased and the session will end shortly after. Interactions with the Gray Man also seem to affect future playthroughs greatly, causing certain rare events to happen. It has been proven that future dynamic links after the Gray Man encounter may become pink, which presumably indicates the possibility of a rare event. For example, the astronaut's landing is much more likely to happen after the interaction with the Gray Man and a pink link. Spawn Mechanics Accurate details of the Gray Man's spawn mechanics remain unknown. However, numerous studies have shown that his spawn isn't random, and is fully dependent on the generation the player is currently in. The generation changes as the player moves and loads different chunks of the map. When the required generation is reached, the Gray Man appears. Loading and unloading chunks of the map on purpose can be abused to force the Gray Man to spawn, although not guaranteed, as the amount of generations which include the Gray Man is not large. One happy town, highest chance of spawning. Two violence district, second highest. Three Kyoto, third highest. Four temple dojo, 50-50 chance of him spawning here. Five clockwork machines, third lowest. Six moonlight tower, second lowest. Seven monument park, lowest chance of spawning. Theories and speculations. One the gray man could be a result of hypnagogia, a state of sleep where the mind can sometimes imagine a threatening entity or presence. A sense of dread comes with this experience, causing one to only remember the fear. One in the alien theory, the gray man may represent an alien probing the conscious mind in a dream, hence the mind erasure effect. Though fantastical and unlikely, this idea is backed up by the examples of alien activity present in LSD, dream emulator, including the starship in the violence district and the UFOs in the natural world. One in the sexual texture theory, the gray man may represent a rapist and slash or murderer. The player's mind may be trying to mentally block the gray man to prevent repressed memories from being reawakened due to those memories being traumatic, 
thus the resulting effect of memory loss. Similarly, they may be a recurring unpleasant figure in the real world that the player's mind is trying to forget, much like the reference to someone dangerous in the I'm being chased. Text Dream 1. The Gray Man could be a reference to the sedative antihistamine diphenhydramine, which is found in the allergy medicine Benadryl. When taken in high doses, the drug becomes a deliriant and has been known to create instances of a hat man or a shadow figure, which could be similar in appearance to the gray man diphenhydromine can also cause temporary memory loss. Evading the gray man To avoid a memory erasing encounter with the gray man, run away while keeping him within your field of vision. The game places him initially within the vision of the player, so running backwards is the best method for escaping. If you are far away enough that he does not trigger, he'll continue to walk in a straight line, then disappear. Running too far away from the gray man however can cause him to respawn in front of the player, so this should be avoided. Looking up also completely nullifies the gray man's trigger, much like how other triggers can be avoided by walking backwards or looking up slash down. A third technique is to keep him in your line of sight while strafing to an object that statically links to a new location, being, sun faces heave, bright moon cottage, the natural world, pit and temple, black space, flesh tunnels, and long hallway. Trivia 1. In the game Yum Tukai, there exists an enemy character who is similar to the Gray Man, possibly inspired by him as the games contain similar themes of dream exploration. 2. The spy nickname originates from the Gray Man's model name, SYMSPY.MOM. 3. In the files, there is an object named SIMDOG.MOM, most likely belonging to a similar classification as the Gray Man, as his object name is SYMSPY.MOM. More info about this is on the TCRF page for LSD, Dream Emulator. Glitches There are many glitches that can happen in LSD, ranging from slightly humorous or stupid to game devastation. What constitutes as a glitch? In LSD, Dream Emulator, a glitch is an error in the programming not intended by the designer, S, that can cause facets of a video game to go haywire, in LSD's case this is generally with the textures and certain objects. Examples of known glitches One the most noticeable glitch in this game is causing the textures to become broken and corrupted in most of the areas. Sometimes textures from other areas, Happy Town, Violence District, etc., appear on the objects from completely different locations. This glitch is speculated to happen because of the player getting into impossible or broken generations of the dream. When this happens, the whole dream generator of the game becomes broken, and the glitch is unsolvable until a completely new emulation of the game is started on the PSX emulator, thereby it is unknown how to deal with this glitch on a native PlayStation device, and it is also unknown if this glitch is even possible on it. During this glitch, the algorithm fails to generate dreams properly, all dreams will become very short because of the in-game timer failure, it can be abused to speedrun the game, the game will consistently load the texture set of the glitched location in any other area of the game in error. Textures in an initially glitched location will look normal and correct though. During deep algorithm failures, textures of a glitched location may become completely unrecognizable, and game may eventually crash the PSX emulator. In that case, all progress will be lost upon the new emulation process is started. Two parts of the game turning invisible, like the peers at the violence district, it is more of a bad chunk load programming than of a glitch though. 3. Being linked and having your character teleported into the ground or higher up in the air, sometimes causing a fall animation, this one may be intentional. 4. Walking in the streams of water and falling, usually near the ship where the creek begins, and reportedly near the waterfall. It is also possible to climb the abyss waterfalls up and down. 5. Different characters becoming corrupted slash changing slash swapping, like with the giant baby losing its head. Not to mention boxed out, blocked, objects lions, fetuses, buddhas, etc. This glitch is usually followed by a major texture algorithm glitch. 6. Being teleported to areas with no programmed ground and immediately falling to your death, like clockwork machines foreground spawn. 7. This is more of an exploit, but there's a glitch that can be manipulated to move the player past walls and anything with collision through a combination of directional buttons. 8. In the violence district on the dock around Ghost Sailor you can clip through bridges fence and start floating above the water. So far it has only been known to occur on PSX and EPSX EPS1 emulators. 9. In more extreme cases, events and objects from other areas can mix together. The video below is a good example. 10. 
it is possible to freeze yourself with a secret train event, if player will get into the fast train of Happy Town by pressing the O button far away from the tunnel, instead of getting linked, camera will be stuck above the railroad till the dream ends. It works only on B-type days and only with train which comes out of the tunnel. 11 Flickering Slash Flashing Water Textures This happens consistently on emulated procedures of the game. 12 You can run backwards by holding up on the D-pad, then holding X and immediately as X is held, hold down on the D-pad. It may take a few attempts but it's relatively simple because of how quickly you're able to do it. There aren't any known uses for this glitch aside from it potentially making Gray Man encounters easier to avoid. 13 It is possible to encounter void chunks of the map, which will crash the PSX emulator's core when entered by the player. This glitch is oftentimes mixed with texture algorithm failure glitch and leads to an impossibility to restore your in-game progress via native save and load system. 14 Impossible of day types in which events and objects from both day types are present in a single dream simultaneously. This glitch is possible only in impossible minus day of the game, such as dash 005, 025, which is bootable using the hacking tools. Wall clipping exploit glitch explanation. Exploit glitches in this game are primarily where you can move your character past walls and fences. Push the R1 and L1 buttons on PS1 controller making your character turn left or right. This control feature may seem not very useful, but this option was added to test textures and locations. Therefore, this glitch now is an exploit. It needs a lot of practice, before glitching gets consistent. Step 1, start from the Moonlight Tower fence, as it's the thinnest wall known, located in top of location. Don't forget to save your game inside of your PS1 emulator. Step 2, place your character as close as possible to the wall or fence. Make sure that fence or wall is to the left of your character and look straight forward. Then press one by one forward and R1 buttons, easier on mobile emulator. Step 3, try to press R1 while doing single step forward. Repeat this several times carefully. Step 4, if your character is lodged in the wall, never go left or right, only straight. Repeating forward plus R1 combination will allow you to slowly move to the left while in the wall. Step 5, if you continuously getting stuck in the hitbox, try to carefully run while spamming R1 and moving forward. Eventually, clipping will be successful. Linking Linking is a method of transportation in LSD, Dream Emulator, where the screen fades to a single color and the player is teleported to a different location. The most common way of linking is by walking into a wall or object. There are three types of links, static, dynamic and local. Dynamic links Dynamic links seem to be completely random, but they're not. Dynamic links destination is usually determined only on player's observations, events triggered, which makes it possible to memorize chain of your actions, and repeat it as many times as wanted, on any device. However in some dreams some locations will have timer dependence applied to dynamic link, making it almost impossible to repeat twice. Dynamic link takes player to a pseudo-random main location upon contact with any simple obstacles, like wall slash tree, with no specific use. Only six locations are available viaduct this type of link, Bright Moon Cottage, Pit and Temple, Kyoto, The Natural World, Happy Town, The Violence District. The location, as well as the music track, is determined by what the player observes. With no observation slash additional intro videos on day 001, the default dynamic link from Bright Moon Cottage will send you to Kyoto near the foot statue with music track standard E. Static links Static links can be found in many places of LSD. Usually, interesting creatures slash objects with special use will have static link with special location. Static links may be memorized throughout the walkthrough, and used as fast way to travel into 8 special locations, which are unreachable with dynamic link. Static link will take the player to the same location every time, such as the bunny always taking the player to Moonlight Tower. Local links Local links are much rarer, comparing to the other type of links in LSD. During this link, location stays the same, and player is most likely to be sent to same location's different part. Only few certain objects were found with such link corpses, penguins, dancing elephants, balancing child. Link locations. Static links. 1. The painting of the sky on the second floor of Bright Moon Cottage takes the player to the long hallway, as well as the wall surrounding the painting. 1. In the violence district, the walls with graffiti on them, and the walls nearby, will link to the clockwork machines. 
the guard fences and construction vehicle near the hole also link there. To the wall directly behind the Ori takes the player back to the violence district. 3. The bunny in Happy Town links the player to Moonlight Tower. 1. Linking with the base of the Ferris wheel, not triggering the clip, links the player to Sunface's heave. 2. The giant head in the Bright Moon Cottage will always link to the violence district. 3. There's a building in Kyoto with a pagoda on top. Entering this building and linking with the back wall will take the player to the Moonlight Tower. Dynamic Link Most of the objects and the world can link the player to a variety of places instead of just one. These links can change depending on how the player explores. The amount of time spent in one area can also influence dynamic links. Colors When linking, the screen can fade to a range of colors including, red, blue, yellow, cyan, green, pink, black, and white. The color of a link, like everything else, seems to be affected by observing specific objects and events. Speculation some players speculate that red links mean a negative dream, white means neutral, and blue means happy or positive. Sound Windy places in LSD share wind sound effect with linking process. This sound may be pitched up and down when linking. Pitch is determined by current generation. Triggers Triggers, is a game mechanic, which is causing live events in the dream world, usually not affecting the player, but changing the whole future walkthrough unnoticeably. Every trigger is being recorded to main character's memory, then to be displayed in flashback option in the future. Trigger is not necessarily causes something visible to the player. Actually, every object spawn is followed by trigger, which in some cases will cause unique event to happen. Live triggers. One touching the lion in the natural world causes a number of different triggers. Player may be simply pushed backwards, but sometimes lion will attack you suddenly, which will lead to dream end. 2. Touching the gray man will trigger a bright flash of the screen, which causes the gray man to disappear. This also temporarily removes the flashback option in the game menu. This collision can be cancelled slash bypassed simply by looking up before, and as, the gray man touches you. 3. Walking through the violence district the player can trigger all objects to stretch upwards. It may happen after the starship being triggered. 4. Walking by the hotels in the violence district triggers a soda can to be thrown at the player, but only on A-type days. 5. Standing in the middle of the Ferris wheel in Happy Town will play a cutscene and bring the dream to an end, but only on A-type days, due to presence of spinning carts. 6. In the Bright Moon Cottage the player either can run or walk down the stairs and triggering the movement automatically to avoid the hazard of being caught in the stairs and linking with no intention. However, this trigger won't change anything in your walkthrough. 7. Looking down on the teddy bear in the Bright Moon Cottage triggers the bear to stand up and wander through the cottage. His direction is decided by your previous decisions. 8. Approaching the window in the natural world at the top of the mountain will trigger the window to open, linking the player to the black space. 9. Walking up to the ghost woman in the violence district can cause a few different triggers. 1. The woman can teleport away upon approach. 2. Moving in front of the woman can cause her head to fall followed by her slow approach, similar to the gray man, disabling movement, and linking on contact. 10 Looking up on Empire State Building in Monument Park will cause Zeppelin to appear, only on A-type days. It also can cause stretching of the whole location. 11 Looking on the TV in Bright Moon Cottage will trigger strange loud sound. This will change your next dynamic link to different one, and will also affect Teddy Bear's direction of movement, if triggered afterwards. 12 Trying to follow the double face in Bright Moon Cottage in some dreams will trigger short event of him running away, but only on B-type days. This trigger will also affect your walkthrough secretly. 13. Approaching the abyss near the floating castle will usually trigger an abyss demon to appear, and force link the player into the Kyoto. 14. Looking on the bridge in the distance, when a ghost sailor is present, only on A-type days, will trigger a plane, either flying slowly into the sky, or falling into the ocean, sometimes ending a dream, or triggering one of the events video. The result of the plane's fall is decided by events triggered in the past, and its fall will also change all your future walkthrough. O button triggers. The game doesn't specify the use of the O button, but it has a few, hidden, actions assigned to it. Current known uses for O are 1. Make the gunman fall. 2. Kill the black wolf. 3. Fly up on the ferris wheel. 4. Ride the fast train. 5. Move towards the winged minotaur. Music. LSD. Dream Emulator contains 490 unique audio tracks of music.
Each area has five patterns, identified by letters from A to E, that can be heard in seven different instrument sets which stay consistent throughout a day. The instrument set and initial music track for a day is chosen depending on player's previous actions and decisions. Every further music choice, as the player links, will also be based on the generation's mechanic. All possible BGM music can be listened here. Instrument sets. Ambient, low, atmospheric sounds, that sound like choirs, wind, or angelic humming, having cosmic feeling to them. Cartoon, various cartoon sound effects such as horns, springs, whistles, chipmunks and Looney Tunes samples. Electro, synthesized sounds that have an electronic feel to them. Ethnova, traditional ethnic instruments such as taiko drums, sitar, and koto. Human, human noises such as grunts, yells, hums, and laughs, all sampled from voice spectral vol 1. Lovely, a combination of lighter toned instruments such as bells, choirs, and synthesizers. Standard sick, medium low toned effects and instruments, has more standard instruments such as violin, piano, bass, and drums. Trivia One Bright Moon Cottage, the Natural World and Violence District have tracks that are just a pure silence. It is speculated, that these tracks were intentionally broken to simulate the silence. Two Clockwork Machine C pattern was incorrectly exported, and plays nothing when loaded. This is because the tempo of the song was set to zero, therefore the track never moves forward in time. When restored by setting the tempo to 120, it sounds like this. 3. It is believed that most of the sound font slash sound effects are all sampled from SFX libraries of the 1980s and 1990s. Cartoon samples a lot of audio from the series 4000 Hollywood sound effects library. For all of the music may have been created using PG Music Spend in AVOX or PowerTrax Pro Audio since the audio is saved in A.SEQ format, audio file extension created by PG Music. 5. In many locations short parts from LSD and remixes tracks can be heard in BGM. The most noticeable ones are Pit and Temple Ethnova A, which has Fax Factory Melody, and Natural World Ambient A, which is definitely resembles the long tall eyelash. Objects Objects alternatively known as characters, are special entities that may link the player to other parts of the dreamscape. In LSD, Dream Emulator, the object, is something, that has ability to move in the dreamscape or be absent on some days. Something, that may somehow react if it's being observed slash approached, or having a unique static link to somewhere. The appearance of objects range from everyday objects, such as bird cages, or crystals, to living creatures, such as lions or even people. Some objects are fantastical in nature, such as the starship and the kitsune. Mechanics Objects are very important in structure of the game mechanics. Each object's spawn slash trigger changes your whole future walkthrough to a completely different one. They can be used as fast and only way to travel into special locations via static links. Objects spawn mechanic is based on a day type and your current generation. Some objects have a rare events attached to them, which can be seen if right actions were done. Textures In LSD, Dream Emulator, textures are applied to locations after linking. The game's algorithm select an available texture set on area transition using the current generation data. Descriptions of each texture Static, normal ordinary textures, a baseline of how things are supposed to look. Dynamic, kanji slash logic kanji symbols writing will appear on most, if not all surfaces and objects. Some textures colors become oversaturated and change a lot smaller textures will just have a single character of kanji, often naming the object or describing it, while walls have entire rows of text. Most of this writing comes from Hiroko Nishikawa's dream journal. Downer, evil most objects will take on an eerie red, warped appearance. Cartoony large eyes will appear on most faces. Upper, sexual most objects take on vibrant shades, images of lips, faces, and Japanese models are layered on some walls and objects. In some areas, this includes textures reminiscent of Happy Town. Unintentional Textures Glitch, a rare bug where the game fails to change texture sheets after linking from one level to another, which happens after the generation algorithm. Failure Garbage data and assets from completely different sections mostly overtake this. Using a memory editor to set the in-game timer to an absurdly high value will reliably cause the glitch to happen. Texture Cycle Textures operate in 40-day cycles, every 10 days, a new texture will be added to the pool of available ones. 
one static textures will always appear. Two dynamic appears after the first 10 days of the 40 day cycle. Three downer appears after the first 20 days of the 40 day cycle. Four upper appears after the first 30 days of the 40 day cycle. After day 40, the cycle will be completely reset, only static textures will appear until day 50, where dynamic textures will be readed, etc. NPCs and foes. There is a large number of different characters in LSD's dreamscape. Most of them will sadly ignore the player, but some NPCs are able to perform a number of different actions in relation to the player. Foes and their actions. The Gray Man. This is the most popular and iconic character of the game. Most of the players think that this is the only NPC in the game, which is a wrong opinion. As everyone who ever met him knows, that he is the most influential character in all game, because he can spoil your in-game progress. First off all, he can scare you, when you're running through locations, as he appears unexpectedly. Then, if player already unlocked the flashback option in menu, meeting the gray man will cause that option to disappear. Thankfully it appears after the next day you complete, because meeting the gray man is only erases all memorized moments from dreams, which cause the flashback option to work. With some researches, we're found out that the gray man can appears only in several locations, like Happy Town, Violence District, Kyoto, Clockwork Machines, Moonlight Tower, Temple Dojo, and Monument Park. Also, some players think, that meeting with him also makes the weird textures to become more normal, which is always pretty sad to most of the players. Shooter, in the Violence District, you can meet a person, who is clearly hostile to the player. It does not have the ability to move, but if you approach him, he will turn around and shoot the player. In total, three shooters can be found in the Violence District, sometimes even at the same time. All three first shoot where they were aiming, standing still before player approaches them, and then they're killing the player. One of them, will shoot the victim standing behind the fence in one of the hangars. By the way, thanks to attentive players, it is known that when you press the O button, during the turn of the shooter, you can kill him by knocking him to the ground, thereby avoiding the end of dream or link to the clockwork machines. Lions are the animals, which can be found in the natural world, aimlessly roaming around the savanna zone. After some time, both of them will notice the player, and start slowly approaching him. They deal no danger to the player, if you'll be careful, but in some dreams, being too close to them will force one of them to attack unexpectedly. Soon after the attack, the dream will end. Black Wolf, is a jump scare character, which can be met in Temple Dojo on B2 type days, day 004, 010, 016. It's an animal, which looks like a sitting wolf, which will remain stationary until approached. The wolf spawns suddenly, so most of the players fail to react in time. Due to this, the wolf will suddenly start running towards the player, producing a loud growls and then kill the player, forcing him to link into the sun faces heave. This event is arguably one of the scariest in the whole game. Neutral characters and their actions. Dancing elephants. Three elephants can occasionally spawn in pit and temple, heading to the giant pit. This creatures will never react to the player's actions, except linking him to another corner of pit and temple. After reaching the pit, they will continue moving forward slowly without falling. They're all actually a small version of giant elephant, which rises from the same pit, and in addition linkable. Those objects are pretty rare. Balancing child, can be found in temple dojo, standing upside down on the stacked chairs, and fully ignoring the player. One thing the player can do, is bump into stacked on one to another chairs, and link to another place in the temple dojo. Double face. A weird coward creature, that looks like a head with arms and legs. With male sullen faces on its both sides, which will avoid the player. For no reason. Located in Bright Moon Cottage, they can be found standing still in the garden of the cottage, or in the bar. Double face can move, and his movement can be caused by the approach of the player. It can mean, that double face is scared of the player. One of them runs out of the location when you notice him, but one of them looks braver. He will move only when the player is moving towards him. Last double face can appear behind the bar. When the player approaches him, it usually stretches up, so it becomes a stick. But in rarer cases, he starts running, but it looks like bar counter prevents him from moving forwards. 
in total only two double faces can be found at the same time. Floating Minotaur, this object can be found in the Moonlight Tower. Pretty rarely. It appears in the backside of the balcony on the top of the tower, and after doing a circle, it flies behind the moon. If you wait there for some time, it will fly back, and teleport to the entrance to the balcony of the Moonlight Tower. After pressing the O button it's possible to link with it, and transfer to the black space. That's all this object does. Buddha statue, ignorant character, which appears on the central road of Kyoto. No matter what, it will never react on the player, it will never follow or chase him. These characters just walk in a straight line towards somewhere they were heading. In some dreams, they appear taller than usual. There's a rare event, which consists in an unusual spawn of a multiple statues, forming some kind of parade on a central street. You can link with them and transfer to the pit and temple if wanted. The soaring astronaut, it's a man in a space suit, which can be noticed flying from and towards the bright moon cottage. Similarly to many other characters in this game, it will mind his own business, ignoring the player no matter what. But in very rare occasions, suddenly he may decide to change his regular direction, and fly down to the yard. He will stop near the bar's counter and stay there, allowing the player to link with him and send you to the black space, which actually makes sense. Day type In LSD, Dream Emulator, there are two main types of days, being Type A days and Type B days. Some days are unplayable, as text and video dreams are unable to be interacted with, though these dreams still retain their day type. Every in-game day, dreams will switch between A and B type. A type days are odd numbered days, whilst B type are even numbered days. Both A and B type days have three different subtypes, A1, B1, A2, B2, A3 and B3, in-game, they control the amount and rarity of some objects. Many objects are affected by this, though of them are possible to see on both day types, some objects are unique either to A or B type days, or even specific to some subtypes. Days are counted in the main menu, allowing the player to see whether a day will be A or B type. Unplayable days Unplayable days in LSD, Dream Emulator show either a text or video dream. The contents of unplayable days are based on players' previous actions. Unplayable days retain their previously mentioned day types, however. As they are unexplorable, these days do not display the characteristics of typical day types. Days 002, 007, 014 and 015 are the first examples of unplayable days. Unplayable days will always reset the player's mood on the graph to 0, 0, which results in subsequent dreams beginning in the standard Bright Moon Cottage spawn. Subtypes Alongside the day types A and B, there are three different subtypes. For each day type, each cycle lasts for six days, then repeats, following numerical and alphabetical order, first leading with A1 type, then continuing to B1 type, A2 type, B2 type, and so on. Type variants usually affect the rarity or amount of objects within dreams and can also affect the chance of encountering rare events, such as the astronaut's appearance. Examples of day types Type A1, in Bright Moon Cottage, Giant Head can be triggered. There will be no pterodactyl statue on the fireplace, and the astronaut will be absent. Type B1, in Bright Moon Cottage, the astronaut appears and two double faces appear on the ground floor, one of which will spawn behind the bar. The astronaut landing event is allegedly most commonly seen on this day type variant, however, it can occur during any B type day variant. Type A2, in Bright Moon Cottage, the pterodactyl will spawn on the fireplace. Type B2, in Bright Moon Cottage the astronaut appears, but no double face will spawn behind the bar. Type A3, in Bright Moon Cottage, giant head can be triggered. Type B3, in Bright Moon Cottage, the astronaut appears, but no double face will spawn behind the bar. After the conclusion of AB3 type day, cycle repeats from the beginning at A1 subtype and will continue in the same fashion until the game's ending. List of objects affected by day types. Objects not listed mean they always appear. These are works in progress. More maps shall be added when things are confirmed. Bright Moon Cottage. Bright Moon Cottage Pattern A. Giant Head. Pterodactyl. Television. Teddy Bear. Futon. Bright Moon Cottage Pattern B. 
Giant Astronaut Double Face Dying Woman Kyoto Kyoto Pattern A Giant Taiko Drum Drumsticks Double Face Gondola Geisha Buddha Statue Flying Ghost Underwater Buddha Minotaur Rickshaw Minotaur Kyoto Pattern B Teleport Triggers Giant Baby Head Old Woman Buddha Statue Peacock Tengu Kitsune Shrine Running Kitsune Giant Minotaur Happy Town Happy Town Pattern A The Spinning Arrow Slash Question Marks Prince and Princess Trumpeters Soldiers By the Ferris Wheel Ferris Wheel The Actual Spinning Part Penguins Train By Southwestern Part of the Map Happy Town Pattern B Mushrooms Soldiers By the Mushrooms Floating Lips Flowers Train By the Train Tunnel Teddy Bear Bunny Violence District Violence District Pattern A Corpses Ghost Sailor Ghost Hanged Women Cargo Ship Southeastern Docks Dumpster Tin Can Violence District Pattern B Gunman Cars Murderer Ghost Women Hopscotch Girl Cruise Ship Southwestern Docks Cargo Ship Southeastern Docks Different One Starship Locations Locations are any places that can be traversable by the player in LSD, Dream Emulator. The game contains 14 locations, or fields, in total, such as the The Natural World or Violence District and others. There is an in-game map where you can see five main locations, located inside of the largest location in the game, The Natural World. However this map doesn't contain other eight locations, which are located inside of main locations, or where a certain link, like for example window, can send you to. There is two types of locations. Main and secondary ones. Main locations have two major features, they've been shown in 1997 LSD demo movie, and they're all connected with tunnels in natural world. Such locations are mostly much bigger and more complicated than secondary ones. Secondary locations have STG-06 number and higher. Such locations are way less interesting and much smaller than the main ones, and they aren't connected with natural world either. Main Locations One Bright Moon Cottage, STG-00 a central house where you always start the game. It typically has yellow walls when you start, although you can return to it later in a dream and its textures will be altered if you played more than 11 days. Some objects like a TV or dying woman can appear there. A fireplace or a bookshelf is another common sight. When the player goes up the stairs you can get to the roof. One Pit and Temple, STG-01 a small walled area in the ancient theme, which has a large pit in the middle, and has two tunnels, leading into the natural world and flesh tunnels. 1 Kyoto, STG-02 big Japanese themed village, with a lots of different statues and traditional buildings, such as pagodas. There is a Zen rock garden and a visitable temple dojo. 1 The natural world, STG-03 the largest location of the whole game. Cliffs and ground cracks are very common, lots of trees and waterfalls is seen there. There is a lot of life. Natural World connects all main locations to itself with tunnels. One Happy Town, STG-04 the home of your upper dreams, colorful toyland-like area, that has floating colorful blocks and painted floors. Cartoon faces can be seen on the ground and walls, and abstract shapes are placed like monuments. A train track can also be seen, complete with a train that comes through the tunnel. There is also one area with a large hexagonal castle that have colorful, trumpet-playing soldiers, greeting the player. These colorful creatures can walk in some places. Floating arrows, question marks, or the word love can be seen. You can see a working ferris wheel on odd-numbered days. One violence district, STG-05 a deadly, dark coastline city with a lots of criminality happening in there. Most buildings are skyscrapers. Dead bodies can be seen lying on the roads, and a murderer with a rifle may be caught killing someone. Secondary locations. One moonlight tower, STG-06 is a visitable pagoda tower from Kyoto with a very long spiral staircase and a balcony. There's a large moon on the sky. One temple dojo, STG-07 Japanese-styled temple with some things that can disappear or appear randomly. 
you can see Gaius playing with a ball, or a throne in the end of temple. One Flesh Tunnels, STG08 A deep disgusting looking maze made out of flesh, which is supposed to represent a womb. There's a hidden room with fetuses and an entrance room with a sumo ring and fighting wrestlers. One Clockwork Machines, STG09 A small room, which is intended to represent a factory from the violence district. On A-type days a working mechanism and a mechanical planetary model can be observed. Two Long Hallway, STG10 Seemingly Endless Hallway, which has many similarities with the Bright Moon Cottage interior. It has many unopenable doors and an exploding wall leading to the open sky inside of it. One Sun Faces Heave, STG11 A translucent bridge with two awkward sun faces attached to it. There's no escape for the player, except for Link. On even days a spinning ring of sunbeams can be seen moving around the bridge. One black space, STG12 a small area, located somewhere in the pitch black void. There are some floating cubes, one with a tunnel on the ground, leading to the natural world. Occasionally, a small girl playing hoop and stick can be seen. One monument park, STG13 a grassy area with many landmarks and monuments. It is fenced in by walls. Common landmarks are Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building, the Golden Gate Bridge, and a windmill. Sometimes Zeppelin appears over Empire State Building. Bright Moon Cottage Bright Moon Cottage, also known as Shining Moon Apartment or The House, is a traditional Japanese-style apartment complex wherein the player will always start the game on day 001. It consists of four floors which can be traversed via the use of stairs. The ground floor contains a bar and the building's entrance. The other three floors contain cubicles lined up along a hallway. Almost every cubicle will contain a unique object. The top floor has a large space with an unopenable bathroom door as well as a fireplace. Outside the building, a large lawn as well as a small tree surround a tunnel leading to the natural world. Facts 1. This location may be inspired by the Meiji Tsuso apartment from Hiroko Nishikawa's Dream Diary. 2. The player automatically walks up and down the stairs between floors, unless they walk backwards or sidestep. 3. It is possible to run up and down the stairs if the stairway is entered whilst running. 4. The Bright Moon Cottage can be seen in the natural world from the far side of the walled area. 5. Looking down the first cubicle on the top floor will cause the giant head to appear on A1 type days. 6. There is an unused room behind the WC door on the first floor. It appears to be the same size as the bathrooms featured in the 1997 demo movie. It may be accessed using hacking tools or an exploit glitch, however, the room is completely empty. 7. The D variants of Bright Moon Cottage's music does not play in-game and external audio players either refuse to open it or skip the song. In reality, the D variant consists of only a single note, C4, played at zero velocity before ending the song. It is speculated that this track is supposed to imitate silence on purpose. 8. Unplayable days will always cause a zero, zero graph result upon their ending, forcing the player to spawn in the Bright Moon Cottage in the same spot as on day 001. 9. Bright Moon Cottage may have been the first location created in the game, as seen by its STG number. It is also the first location showcased in the LSD 1997 demo movie. Television Television is an A-type object with a screen filled with disturbing imagery that can be found on the second floor of the Bright Moon Cottage. The screen has images of a contorted face, eyes, and bloody handprints. Object's Purpose Television is useful for changing your dream's generation, as it is possible to do it multiple times via this object. The generation changes when the player is observing the television and a loud sound is heard. When the dream's generation changes, future dynamic links become different and behavior of some objects may change also, for EX the nearby teddy bear will move around the cottage differently. Also, television provides fast static link to the flesh tunnels, however the television is present in the cottage only on A-type days. Trivia One on the top left of the screen is the word Korosu, which means I am slash you are slash they are killing. On the middle right is the kanji for the word Korosu. Under that is the kanji shi, meaning death. Altogether, the writing on the television in English means I am going to kill you. 2. A buzzing sound fades in and gets progressively louder when the player observes the television, a trait shared by the book. 3. The teddy bear will also spawn here, either sitting and watching the screen or standing and facing the player, remaining completely motionless until the player looks down at it. 4. The television statically links to the flesh tunnels. Dying Woman On the second floor of Bright Moon Cottage, there is a bedridden woman who, depending on the current day, 
is either alive, dying, dead, or missing entirely. As the days pass, she slowly begins to decay in the form of her model flickering between her normal appearance and a corpse. Eventually, she dies completely, permanently appearing as a corpse. A few days after she dies, she will disappear from the bed altogether. In later days, this order of events plays out in reverse as she slowly comes back to life. The dying woman is seen in the 1997 demo movie. Linking table. The bed the dying woman rests in will link you to different places depending on her state. Condition where the player will be linked. Alive happy town. Dying happy town. Corpse violence district. Empty bed black space. Speculation. The dying woman might be referenced in the text dreams. In particular, they might be the person in the stories holding my hand and symmetrical twins. Fireplace. The fireplace is an object found on the third floor of the Bright Moon Cottage. It sits at the end of the hallway in a small room containing both a bookshelf, and a water closet door the figurine can sometimes be found sitting on top of it. The figurine flies at you links. Pit and Temple. The pit and temple is a small walled-off area that mostly consists of grassland and rocky pathways. In the middle, there is a large square pit, which can be used to end the dream immediately by falling into it. This pit is where a flying elephant may float away into the sky above. There are two exits from this location, the planar looking exit leads to the natural world, and the other, with three faces on the top, leads to the flesh tunnels. Though there is not much at this location, the pit and temple is very useful for providing quick access to other areas, and the pit itself allows for the option to quickly end the dream. The pit and temple is one of the main locations displayed on the map. Trivia one with the kanji textures, the ground reads, which means door or opening. Two the machine translator is most likely to translate the original kanji title of pit and temple to just temple. This is a mistranslation. Technical slash hacking trivia. One community and hackers have discovered, that the floor contains some sort of patterns to it of perhaps gdfgab. Two one of this area's music patterns, D, contains a rough representation of the melody from come on and from LSD and remixes. It can be distinguished in the Ethnova and Electro instrument sets. 3. In music pattern A, a melody from Fax Factory can be heard. It is distinguishable in the Ethnova instrument set. Falling. Falling is a mechanic present in LSD, Dream Emulator. It may occur whilst walking in water, after stepping off of a cliff or after stepping into the pit and temple central pit. Falling will cause the dream to end after a short animation showing the descent of the player as the camera moves upwards. Falling will usually result in a downer dream and only occasionally result in an upper dream. Occasionally, falling will occur when linked to the violence district, when spawning on top of a building or in the sky nearby. In this case, taking a step will either teleport the player to the ground safely or cause them to fall, forcibly ending the dream. Falling can cause the plot on the chart to change greatly and even register results off of the standard graphic. The Natural World the natural world is a vast outdoor area that connects all the five other main locations in the game via tunnels scattered throughout the area. Its landscape consists of fields of grass, trees, hills, cliffs, forests, deserts, rocky mountains, bridges, rivers, and waterfalls. This is the largest location in the game. Flesh Tunnels The Flesh Tunnels is a location in LSD, Dream Emulator that contains fleshy-looking maze-like tunnels resembling a womb. There are multiple small rooms throughout the tunnels, the largest of which contain fetuses. Flesh tunnels can be accessed from the pit and temple. It is usually found by going through the room with the sumo ring, though the lips and television can link the player directly inside of this location. Sumo Wrestling Ring The main room of flesh tunnels contains sumo ring, on which the sumo wrestlers will appear and fight each other. This room also transitions into pit and temple. This part of the location differs in color from the tunnels, and possibly resembles a large crowd of spectators. Some people consider the original textures of this location a beehive. Flesh tunnels and fetuses. It's often possible to come across a single fetus while walking through the flesh tunnels. This fetus will then turn around and run down the tunnel until it disappears into a wall. Following it and walking a little bit further takes you into a room full of fetuses, all bouncing and making noises. Very rarely you will be able to encounter a group of running fetuses inside the tunnels instead of single one. They will all run in different directions, and pass through the walls as a single fetus would. The main room of flesh tunnels contains sumo ring, on which the sumo wrestlers will appear and fight each other. 
This room also transitions into pit and temple. This part of the location differs in color from the tunnels, and possibly resembles a large crowd of spectators. Some people consider the original textures of this location a beehive. Trivia. 1. The machine translator of the kanji translates it to organic corridor. 2. Kyoto. Kyoto is an area that resembles, and is likely based on, the real city of Kyoto in Hanju, Japan. Kyoto is a large, traditionally Japanese city which contains many houses, statues, and tori, as well as an entrance to the temple dojo. On the opposite end of Kyoto to the temple is a gateway to the natural world. Monument Park resides within Kyoto, only accessible through a tunnel. The wall inside of the tower within Kyoto links to the bottom of Moonlight Tower. Also within Kyoto is a rocky Zen garden with black and white patterns on the floor. As well as small, fenced-in areas. These have four entryways and house various different objects in them, such as the shrine bell and the hand statue, as well as other statues of a head and foot. They are believed to be Buddhas. Kyoto is one of the main locations displayed on the map. Interacting with the old woman found either in one of the houses or on the scaffolding next to the river can sometimes cause everything in Kyoto to stretch upwards. This is the only other way to link to Moonlight Tower, other than the bunny. Day types. Kyoto, like many other locations in LSD, Dream Emulator, is affected by the day type mechanic, and many objects within Kyoto vary by day type. These day types vary as such. Type A, contains gaseous, small gaseous, minot ores, Buddha statues near the Moonlight Tower, River Buddha statues and Rickshaw Minotaur. Does not contain Tengu, the old woman, giant gaseous, giant minotaur, or the giant baby head. Type B, contains Tengu, giant gaseous, giant minotaur, and the old woman, peacocks and the giant baby head. Does not contain Rickshaw Minotaur, River Buddha statues, average sized gaseous, average minotaur and small gaseous. Only one Buddha statue will appear in this state. Moonlight Tower The Moonlight Tower is an area within the dreamscape that players can spawn in at the start of a dream or link to. The Moonlight Tower has many flights of stairs leading to a balcony. There is always a full moon a few feet away from the tower. The Moonlight Tower influences in-game timer in some way, making the dream very short. This happens only when the dream starts here, and reasons for this are still unknown. If linked from any other location, the timer won't be affected. You can stretch out the amount of time you have in dreams that start at Moonlight Tower through frequent linking. Bumping into the railing at the top will cause a normal dynamic link, and so will the walls indoors. In Kyoto, the Moonlight Tower is visible among the buildings. The walls of the tower will link the player inside. These walls and the bunny are the only two links to Moonlight Tower. Minotaur Occasionally, the winged minotaur spawns, flying around the tower. It's impossible to reach the creature in the state, but it sometimes spawns in front of the player while they're exploring the balcony. This gives an opportunity to link with the minotaur, transporting the player to the black space. The winged minotaur The winged minotaur, also known as the bird, is an entity that can appear in the moonlight tower, and can be seen flying outside of the building. When exploring the balcony, it's possible for the creature to spawn out past the railing. When this happens, getting close to the creature will cause the player to be pulled towards it and linked to the black space. It seems that the winged minotaur can appear on the backside of the tower. Looking and walking around doesn't seem to trigger it but getting near the railings while looking outside and walking sideways left or right mostly trigger the spawn of the creature. Also, the link to black space only works if you are facing the creature. Hacking information. 1. Hacking your position outside of the balcony can make the minotaur be close to you and not trigger the link but being on the same spot outside the balcony while looking at it links you to the black space. Bunny. The bunny appears in Happy Town within the square enclosure near the castle. It spawns dancing together with the teddy bear, but only on B-type days. Either the bunny or the teddy bear will run away after some time. In rare cases two of them may suddenly start running away, creating a weird chase scene. Both of these toys may start dancing in circles, or occasionally stretch a little in width. Touching the bunny at any point will link the player to Moonlight Tower. Trivia and Speculation There is a theory, that bunnies link to Moonlight Tower was based on Japanese symbolism about bunnies and moon being connected. Temple Dojo The Temple Dojo area consists of the inside of a Japanese-styled palace with four main rooms. It is presumed to be a circus, as such is stated within the Dream Journal LSD, Dream Emulator is based on. Description 
The temple dojo is comprised of many rooms, all of which are very similar in appearance. Some rooms contain objects, such as the children tossing a ball, with which the player can link. Sometimes, objects will disappear after the player walks too far away from them. The Natural World The Natural World is a vast outdoor area that connects all the five other main locations in the game via tunnels scattered throughout the area. Its landscape consists of fields of grass, trees, hills, cliffs, forests, deserts, rocky mountains, bridges, rivers, and waterfalls. This is the largest location in the game. Happy Town Happy Town is a location within LSD, Dream Emulator. It is filled with brightly colored textures, many of which feature crude, geometric drawings of faces. Happy Town contains many strange monuments and abstract shapes. Several of these shapes and monuments have static links to other areas, both inside and outside of Happy Town. Near the railroad crossing, a large working ferris wheel can be seen and be ridden on. A large octagon-shaped castle is located in the center of the town, with grandstands leading up to it where trumpeters will appear and play fanfare upon the player's arrival. A train track also winds throughout the area, complete with a functioning train and railroad tunnel. There are small mazes with knee-high walls. Each floor tile texture in Happy Town makes a unique footstep noise while walking upon them. Trivia 1. There are several hidden messages written on the ground. Tiles can be lined up to spell words such as happy, sky, sex, and LSD. 2. The textures in this area appear to change less often here than they do in other areas. 3. It is believed that the Gray Man appears more frequently within Happy Town than any other location. 4. When exploring Happy Town, various objects can appear right in front of the player without warning. 5. Happy Town is one of the main locations connected to the natural world via tunnel. 1. When looking at the walls of Happy Town in the natural world, they appear white and metallic, much like how they appear on the inside when the kanji, logic, textures are active. 6. Happy Town is always spelled in capital letters in the game's documentation. Observation Wheel Observarian Wheel, or Ferris Wheel, is a special dynamic object in Happy Town. The spinning part of the Ferris Wheel is present only on A-type days. Whole area surrounding the wheel, including the wheel's base itself, links player to sun faces heave when touched. Events Ferris Wheel is known for its ability to end the dream with secret event video about Ferris Wheel Ride. It can be accessed only on A-type days though, because it automatically starts, when player is idling near the spinning carts of the wheel. Another event can be triggered also only on A-type days. Pressing the circle button on your PSX controller while standing near the spinning carts, will slowly launch you into the sky, imitating the ride on Ferris Wheel. This will also end your dream, but way faster than the event video. Trivia and Hacking Information The ability of Ferris Wheel to end the dream can be used to speedrun A-type days of the game. Any generation reached with dreams end through the Ferris Wheel is extremely hard to repeat twice, because it's always having dependence on the timer. Usually, the generations you'll get from ending a dream with secret event video slash secret ride will have an upper influence on the main character's mood on chart. Trumpeters Trumpeters are toy-like objects that can spawn on the two sets of grandstands outside of the castle in Happy Town. They will always play their trumpets when approached. Players cannot link with the trumpeters directly, but with the blue staircases they stand on instead. The stairs will link to Sun Faces Heave, and is one of the only ways of getting there. Trivia 1. Trumpeters only appear on a type days. This means that, by extension, the prince and princess will be present if the trumpeters are. Two trumpeters are completely identical copies of the soldiers, with the addition of a trumpet. Three in the LSD demo movie, trumpeters used to have a unique texture, and in the final version, they have a single, stretched texture. Technical and hacking. One the giant astronaut samples the music they play, drastically slowed down. Train. The train is a unique object found in Happy Town. If touched, the player will be linked to the clockwork machines, natural world, or Kyoto, depending on type of the train. In the booklet, there's a special thanks to Beams, a Japanese clothing store. In the original journal on which the game is based, a number of dreams involve the Beams store or logo. Outside director's company obtained permission from Beams to incorporate their logo and slogan basic and exciting into the game. It is used in sexual textures for the train. Notably, the normal texture of the train muzzle is the texture that is shown on the bottom side of the hanging cubes in Happy Town. Train has its own sound, however due to imperfections of the PlayStation map loading system, 
sound is usually stopped suddenly, making the train go completely silent. Types of trains The fast train can be seen only on B-type days, and it is located near the Ferris wheel. It suddenly appears from the tunnel, when player is curious to look what's there inside. It can also spawn near castle, moving towards the tunnel. When train leaves the tunnel, once hit, player will be linked into Kyoto, but when train is coming inside the tunnel, link will change to clockwork machines. There's a special action, which can be performed with this train. The slow train is unique to A-type days and is located in the southwest corner of Happy Town. It will spawn when you will be close enough to the railroad. This train will link you to natural world, when touched. There's a rare event, which includes this train. Events and actions. Near the Ferris wheel, there's a tunnel that the railroad tracks lead into. If the player tries to walk into this tunnel, a train will appear, quickly moving towards the player. By quickly pressing circle, confirmation button on PSX controller, before the train runs you over, you can teleport inside and become the train conductor. After few seconds, an automatic link will occur, sending the player to Kyoto. Another event includes slow train stopping near the column, where you can usually see the opera singer standing. This event is known as one of the rarest in the game, as the player need to wait approximately 2 minutes for the slow train to ride around and stop near the column. Also, train is very likely just to disappear as soon as it reaches the column. But if you're lucky to see the stopped train near the column, after some few seconds it will honk once and start flying away into the clouds. The trigger of this event is fully dependent on player's previous actions and decisions. Trivia and Glitches Dodging the train near the tunnel, and chasing it all the way to the castle will allow the player to observe a very weird glitch, pressing the circle button here will trigger the event of becoming the train conductor, however the train with the player inside will disappear before the automatic link could happen, the train will reach its despawn zone, so the player will lose the ability to move till the dream's end. Hexagonal Castle Prince and Princess A pair of dancing, featureless figurinesque monarchs that inhabit the happy town castle. If the player attempts to touch them, he slash she will just phase through them like a ghost, making it impossible to link with them. Events Prince and Princess are present only on A-type days. During them, you will also be able to see trumpeters, greeting you on your way into or out the castle, as if you were a king. Speculation Neither prince or princess have the link to anywhere, however, there's a theory, that they could have had a link to the unknown place, the location, which was scrapped before the final release of the game. Unknown Place, Beta or 1997 Demo Movie The Unknown Place is a scrapped area in LSD, Dream Emulator, featured in the 1997 Demo Movie and nowhere else. Appearance The Unknown Place has a brick path with green hills that form some kind of maze, roses that pop out of the ground, a rainbow that fades in from left to right, a castle which floats into the sky when looked at, and some non-uniquely textured red and green monsters. Speculation some people speculate that the objects seen in this location were recycled into Happy Town assets, such as the lip transition in the beginning being related to the floating lips, or the castle being turned into a much larger one where the prince and princess reside in the final game. The castle in the demo movie may have ended up as the floating castle in the natural world, see photo, which features a much more similar model to the demo castle than the one in Happy Town. In addition, this castle has a rainbow next to it, like the demo movie. It's unknown if this location was actually going to be used in LSD, Dream Emulator or if it was made just for the demo movie, although the former seems more likely given the amount of time that would have been spent scripting events for the unknown place. Soldiers The soldiers are small cartoon-like figures that march around Happy Town in certain patterns in groups of four. They are visually similar to the trumpeters near the castle. These objects are possible to see on both day types, though their position will differ, depending on day type. They produce a unique sound of their rhythmic footsteps, as they march around the area. Speculation Trying to link with them will send the player to the Monument Park, which probably symbolically refers to humans' habit to aimlessly wander through parks, like the soldiers in Happy Town do. Violence District The Violence District, also known as the City or Violence Street slash Violence Road, is a coastal urban area within the dreamscape. It appears to be in perpetual nighttime, and is filled with evidence of criminal activity including corpses, bullet holes, and graffiti. The city contains alleyways, docks, high-rises, streets, warehouses, and overpasses. This area may be seen as representative of a nightmare. 
Many of the objects and events that can be encountered in this area have negative influence on the player's chart if linked with or observed, scoring more often in the downer sections of the chart, most notable if the dream ends whilst still in the violence district. Speculation Violence district may be inspired by a story from the dream journal LSD, Dream Emulator is based on Call the Violent Town, A Headless Man, a story which is accompanied by this image. Despite the cheery, colorful nature of the image, the story is about the man seen in the image suffering trauma of the head in which half is removed. In the story, he and his wife search for the criminal who caused this trauma. Nishikawa, the observer of the story, is surprised how the man is still alive as well as still functioning normally, even after a large portion of his head and brain are completely removed from the violent attack. Other references to violence district might include passages from the text dreams I'm being spied on and the shopkeeper has got my back, which possibly reference similar criminal activity as to what happens within the district. The warehouses may have come from the Seaside Warehouse journey entry, as well. Trivia 1. The player can occasionally spawn on top of a building. When this happens, taking a step in any direction will either cause the player to fall to their death or to appear safely in an alley below. 2. Occasionally, parts of the violence district will stretch upwards after looking up at the starship. This can happen even without looking up. On rare occasions, this can happen more than once. 3. The violence district is one of the main locations connected to the natural world via a tunnel. 4. The violence district's sky never changes from dark blue. In the demo, the sky was red, but the developers changed it to reflect a night sky. 5. The sea variants of the violence district's tracks are corrupted and do not play. Corpses Corpses are discarded and bloodied dead human bodies that can be found throughout the violence district. Linking with them will lead to other parts of the violence district, the murderer can sometimes be seen kicking a corpse. Linking with corpses may greatly affect textures. Gunman The gunman, also unofficially known as the soldier, is a person dressed in a dark grey cloak and helmet who appears near or inside the warehouses in the violence district only on B-type days. In his hands, he holds a rifle. The gunman will ignore the player, even if the player walks into his line of sight. However, if approached, he will turn towards the player and shoot, causing the player to slowly fall over sideways and the screen to fade out. Following this, the dream will either end or the player will be linked to the clockwork machines. Directly linking with the gunman via walking into him will also send the player to the clockwork machines. When the gunman turns to shoot, pressing the circle button will cause the gunman to fall on the ground. In this state, the player can link with him to be transported to the clockwork machines. It is also possible to avoid the gunman's attention entirely if the player looks up or moves backwards while approaching him, as the shooting event will not trigger due to the trigger preventing nature of these actions. This can also be used to link with him without getting shot. There are three positions in which the gunman can appear, all of which may be found at the same time. One inside the first left warehouse, where the crime scene is located, near the entrance. He can spawn before the player enters or momentarily afterwards, which immediately leads to the player being shot due to being close enough to activate his trigger. Walking far enough into the warehouse will also cause him to spawn. Linking with him in this warehouse will link the player to the clockwork machines. One inside the second to last warehouse, near the fence that divides the warehouse into two parts. The gunman will be seen aiming at a victim, standing in front of the shutter door, behind the fence. If approached, the gunman will first shoot the victim, and then the player. Pressing the circle button here will occasionally save the victim's life. One outside the same warehouse with the fence. On B1 type days a car spawns on the same spot as the gunman. The gunman will respawn if the player leaves and re-enters the violence district. Speculation The corpses present within the violence district may be other victims of the gunman. Secondary locations Clockwork machines The clockwork machines or gear room is an area primarily accessed through the violence district, though it can be linked to from other locations. It is also possible to begin a dream in this room. In general, linking with man-made things in the violence district will send you here, such as the graffiti on the walls, the crane, the guard rails around the crane and the gunman. The main section contains an ori. Further down you can see machinery that appears to be part of an ore mine. On rare occasions, the player will spawn below the machinery. However, there is no collision data in this area, so moving will cause the player to fall out of the world, ending the dream. If the Ori is present, looking up at it will play the gear cinematic and end the dream afterward.
If the Ori is missing, its stand will not do anything. The wall behind the Ori will always link back to the eye graffiti in the violence district. In some dreams, the machinery and Ori can be missing completely. Trivia. 1. The machine translator translates the kanji of clockwork machines as just factory. 2. The C variant of clockwork machines music was assumed to be a corrupt song that couldn't play. The LSD, revamped research team has recently discovered that this track is actually a fully working unique song, but goes unused in game due to the song's tempo being set to zero. Long Hallway He Long Hallway is an extensive corridor culminating in a wall that breaks apart. When the player reaches the end of the hallway, the walls will fall away, revealing the sky. The first time the player views this, they will be pushed back to the start of the hallway, presumably by wind. The second time the player views this, they will be sucked out into the sky and linked. Objects that link to this location are the Tengu, the child dressed in purple in the pair of children tossing a ball, touching the tree next to father and daughter in the natural world, and the sky picture on the second floor of the bright moon cottage. There may be more ways to access this location that aren't documented. There are almost 50 doors in the hallway, all with no specific links. The walls at the beginning of the hallway will link the player to Bright Moon Cottage. Spawn Locations The player can spawn 1 on the ground 2 halfway in the floor 3 halfway in the ceiling 4 in front of the wall at the end as it breaks, which sometimes gets the player stuck in the floor. Trivia 1 Machine translators can mistranslate hallway as corridor, which is incorrect given the context. Trivia 1 This area, along with sun faces heave, are the only two areas in the game with no dynamic objects. Tengu Tengu, are human-like avian creatures from Japanese folklore which fly down from the sky in the Kyoto and run around its borders on B-type days. They have unusually long noses, and will always link the player to the long hallway. They also seem to carry some kind of leaf in their left hand. On rare occasions, Tengu may suddenly become huge for no reason, but their link will still remain the same. Some Tengu may be seen floating in the air. Tengu may either run in the same direction or diverge, running in separate paths. Children tossing a ball. Within the temple dojo, children can appear kicking a ball around, while other times there may only be a single child. Father and daughter. The father and daughter appear in the natural world on a tiny island. Linking with the tree behind them will take you to the long hallway. When crossing the bridge, it's possible that a giant demon creature will rise from underneath the bridge and link you to Kyoto. The Abyss Demon The Abyss Demon is a devil-like monster that resides in the bottom of the natural world's abyss, and will rise from there, depending on the actions. It has a classic demonic appearance with horns and rock-like textures. Speculation The demon's presence may hint at the inaccessibility of glorious and pure things as the father and daughter and the floating castle in an impure human form, or perhaps the demon could symbolize the corruption of innocence. Another speculation is the castle and the happy father and daughter are idealizations and fantasies, for the reality of which a giant demon, symbolically representative of the size difference between that of an infant and an adult, stands between. Actions While walking across the bridge that leads to the father and daughter, it's possible for the abyss demon to appear and rise from below the bridge. He pops out and links you to Kyoto, and in some cases it will end the dream. He will also rise from the abyss when looking at the castle from a certain angle up close. Sun Faces Heave The Sun Faces Heave slash the Sun Faces Bridge is an area with nothing but a translucent bridge attached to two large sun-like faces. There is a thin layer of fog on the bridge as well as some guard rails, with nothing else in the area besides a black void. The bridge leads directly into the two faces' mouths, which are actually tunnels. The only way to link to another area in Sun Faces Heave is to walk into the tunnel or touch the railing on the bridge. Appearance There are two Sun Faces on either side of a bridge covered in fog. The faces are similar in appearance to the sun seen in the Ferris wheel cut scene. A single unlinkable object can be seen there, it's a spinning ring of sun rays, which can be seen only on B-type days, moving along the bridge, and sometimes stopping to spin around the sun face. Due to how PlayStation 1 consoles handle rendering at a distance, the faces aren't visible until the player gets close enough. Both faces have open mouths, parallel to the bridge. These mouths are actually tunnels, which the player can walk into. One of these tunnels leads into the train tunnel in Happy Town. Reaction By some players, the faces are considered to be disturbing, especially in downer or kanji textures, 
as it may give a slight jump scare when a face suddenly pops in after the player was expecting to just see more of the bridge. This may also discourage the player to follow into the actual mouth itself, scared to discover what may be on the other side of the tunnel. LSD, Dream Emulator contains several moments like these. The scary look of the sun faces is comparable to the giant head or the giant baby head, as these objects also suddenly appear in the same fashion as the sun faces. Ways of accessing sun faces heave. Linking with the base of a ferris wheel in Happy Town, linking with the stairs that the trumpeters stand on, linking with the black wolf, and landing on minus 4, 8 in the chart are some of the known ways of accessing this location. Trivia. One machine translators will misread the kanji as the sun faces the heave. One sun faces heave, long hallway, pit and temple, the natural world, flesh tunnels, black space, and bright moon cottage are all areas that don't have a chance of the gray man appearing. These make for good hiding locations if the player is being chased, as it's impossible for the gray man to follow them in. Black Wolf The black wolf is an object that resides in the temple dojo. It can appear before the player, and will remain stationary until approached. When approached, it will suddenly pounce and attack the player. This will either end the dream or link to sun faces heave. Actions If a player presses the O button after the black wolf starts chasing them, the wolf will die and fall over. The player will then shortly be linked to sun faces heave. Black Space The black space is a small area within the dreamscape surrounded by an infinite void. It can be accessed through the window, the bird creature, the giant astronaut, the dying woman's empty bed, the hopscotch girl, or landing on one of the seven red tiles of the chart. In this area, the player will typically spawn over a solid black void, but if you walk far enough, a white surface will come into view. Players can also spawn directly on the white surface. There are several floating blocks in the air. On rare occasions, glitched spawn locations are possible. It causes player to unpreventably fall through the floor which will end the dream. The Hoop and Stick Girl, a girl similar to the one playing hopscotch in the violence district, can also spawn here. There can be two Hoop and Stick Girls, but the second appears to be a larger mirrored version of the first. It's possible to walk some distance on the black surface beyond the white ground, but wandering too far will cause the player to fall into the black abyss, ending the dream. Speculation This area could possibly represent space, time, emptiness, or death. The dying woman link adds more evidence to the death theory. Window A window can always be found in the rocky part of the, the natural world on a mountain. When approached, the window will open and link the player to the black space. Giant Astronaut Giant Astronaut is an object in a space suit, slowly floating away from the open roof of the bright moon cottage. He produces a quiet trumpet noise, which gets louder as he approaches. Eventually, the astronaut will return to the roof, and then the cycle will repeat. The Landing Event On extremely rare occasions, the astronaut may suddenly change its direction from its regular path and fly down into the yard, stopping at the right side of the bar. Linking with the astronaut at any point, even modifying your position to touch him while he's in the air, will always link the player to the black space. Currently, it is still unknown if there is a repeatable to force the astronaut to land without depending on the in-game timer. However it was proven that the gray man's trigger is the main reason of this event happening. For an unknown reason, after the gray man's flash the dynamic link sometimes changes its color to pink. If it leads to the bright moon cottage during your first visit, the astronaut is very likely to land. It is also known that the astronaut never lands in a dream which starts in the bright moon cottage. Trivia 1. The earliest day you can spot the astronaut and his landing event is day 004. Due to the game's speed being different on different devices, most players cannot repeat the control generation that leads to the landing event with the landing event being impossible to repeat by most players. 2. The astronaut's trumpet noise uses the same audio as the trumpeters from Happy Town, slowed down to 0.25x speed. 3. The astronaut's helmet viewport seems to be a ceiling texture from the library room of the Bright Moon Cottage. 4. The astronaut appears only on B-type days, and only once per dream, so after revisiting the Bright Moon Cottage the astronaut will be missing. This is the main reason the landing event is so rare. Hacking Information Further hacking of the files within LSD itself, done by the hacking community, has found a few things. 1. If you modify your position with the software tools, this will also link you to the black space. 2. The trombone and trumpet use the same audio file, with the trumpet simply being pitched down to give it the trombone-like sound. 
Speculation. 1. The astronaut descending into the bar being so rare may symbolize that in rare cases, astronauts may violate the prohibitions to drink alcohol on the job, or simply shows the weekends of astronauts, where they can rest. Hopscotch Girl. Hopscotch Girl is a ghost-like entity that appears in the Violence Street. This entity appears as a young girl can be found playing hopscotch in the Violence District between some of the tall buildings under a streetlight. She is one of the very few entities that link to the black space. The drawn pattern of chalk below her is reversed and she just jumps back and forth on it. She may appear stretched out in some dreams. If approached close enough, she may link to Kyoto or the aforementioned space. The pattern of chalk. An oddly shaped pattern is seen below the girl. The pattern is of four circles. They are formed look like letter T. Speculations. 1. Because of the pattern's shape and circle's position, it looks very much like male genitals. And because LSD, Dream Emulator actually does contain references to sex, this becomes quite clear that this drawn pattern of chalk actually represents what it's supposed to represent. Monument Park Monument Park is an area within Kyoto. Many real-world monuments such as the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben can be found here. Pressing triangle to look at the top of the Empire State Building causes the Zeppelin to appear on A-type days. Looking up in general may cause the monuments to stretch upwards. Occasionally, the models may stretch twice within in the same visit, when this happens, the models will vanish. Speculations This park may be a further reference to the alien activity seen within LSD, Dream Emulator, as it is a common trope for fictional aliens to be fascinated with Earth and landmarks. A common misconception is that linking with the same monuments multiple times will always lead back to the same areas, however, this is untrue. It could also be a representation of the Tobi World Square Miniature Park of Japan, which is actually located in Nikko, not Kyoto. Trivia 1. A sound which seems to be a slowed version of the flesh tunnel's footstep sound effect is heard occasionally near the great SPHYNX. The source of the sound is unknown. Okay, two hours and two minutes. Yeah. This will officially be the game's uh, final video, also known as the wiki video, which you just listened to. It's literally the entire wiki page for LSD Dream Emulator. With that being said, I think this will be it for this project altogether. I'd like to pray peace be upon all of my subscribers and commentators, for us, fans and friends, everyone from the beasts of Delta Empire and everyone from the Discord server, free little friends by name. Peace be upon Thunderstruck Gaming, B809 Gaming, Long Souls, Marcus, Natagrass31, Mark ICWY, Rogigent, Caro Dan, Cryfield, ZBTV123, Matthew, Living Twan, Sagado 85 President Tarforel, Russell Pan Gaming, Public Sepes YT, Sparfan 28, Savannah Scurry, and Torosco. This has been with you, your host, Invisible the Non Existent, hidden from your eyes to the shadows of your hearts. And this has been with you, the final video in the LSD Let's Play project. This was simply put the wiki of it. I copied it and pasted it into a site that's named Calmly Write and made uh, read aloud to just read it for you. All of it. Now you know all the triggers, now you know all the information about the game. I hope everything is now fun with you. Till next time, whenever that will be and whatever it will be. Make sure to stay careful, stay healthy, and stay safe. We are living in a merciless, unforgiving, and unforgivable hell. Anything can happen. Make sure you keep your friends and family close to you. Keep your enemies even closer. You don't know when you need help or it will come from. Make sure to keep. Make sure to keep the credit and the gratitude for you do. It's much easier and simpler to thank others for the favors for you than it is to give flowers for the graves of the dead. Till next time, whenever that will be. Invisible, the non-existent, with you. Sign out. Take care.